Drive by Radiohead. I've known this song for quite a while. I just finished trying to record the tutorial for I Love You by Billie Eilish, and it was one of the worst experiences of my entire life. But now we're moving on to something different. A new chapter has begun. Look at this. So we're in standard tuning for this song. It almost sounds like an open tuning song, but it is not. It is standard tuning, no capo. You're gonna need a pick. We've gotta learn an intro. We've gotta learn a verse. We've gotta learn a chorus. Chorus and the verse are almost identical. And we've gotta learn a solo, but the solo is easy. I normally don't go for solos, but in this song, it's it's barely even a solo. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, the intro is probably the hardest part. That was pretty sloppy right there. How do we how do we do this? I think it's gonna be like this. All right, I figured it out. I've solved the riddle of a thousand years. Um, please put your pointer finger on the 11th fret of the A string. That's right, 11. I know it looks like this is my 12th fret. It's not. This is my ninth fret, 10th, 11th, right here. I'm not gonna put my little fake dots on like I do sometimes. We're only up here for a minute. Pointer finger on the 11th fret. But your pointer finger has a big responsibility here. It needs to play the 11th fret of the A string, the second string from the top. It also needs to mute the top string. So the tip, the tippiest tip of my finger is just hitting that E string right there, uh, pushing down on the A string. And then I'm also, I want it to mute the D string, the third string from the top. So it's muting the top with the tip of the finger. It's just kind of touching the bottom of the string. Do you see that? Do you see what I'm talking about when I say it's just touching it? And then pushing on the 11th fret, like I've said, for the thousandth time. And then the pad of my finger, like right here, is just touching the D string to mute that third string from the top. Great. Then your ring finger goes down to the G string, the third string from the bottom. So not the bottom, not second from the bottom, but third from the bottom. It's gonna play the 13th fret. So we've got an octave here is what's happening. What I mean by octave is this note here is a G sharp note, and this note here is a high G sharp note. They're both G sharps, but they're an octave apart. Bottom two strings, the E and B strings, those should be open. So it should be mute, 11, mute, 13, open, open. It's a little tricky, because you want your pointer finger to be laying kind of flat, but not touching the bottom. See how it's angled away? You want your ring finger to be just the tip of your finger. You don't want it to lay down flat and hit the other strings, just the tip right there. My middle finger looks like it's doing something, but it's not doing anything at all. My thumb is back here on the back of the neck. You could probably have your thumb up over the top and it would be fine. That thumb is fine. For me, it's a little bit easier having it back here like this. If your E string, if you can't quite mute it with the tip of your pointer finger, that's okay. The low E string sounds good with this intro. We just, to stay as authentic and true to the recording as possible, we want to try not to have the low E string. Uh, what I'd like you to do is start by strumming up. We're gonna go up, down, up, down, down. On that, sort of. Okay, yeah, let's do, let's start with that. Let's go up, down, up, down, down, two, three, four. Up, down, up, down, down, two, three, Four. Up, down, up, down, down. If you start by strumming down, you're screwed. Everything's gonna be, everything's gonna fall to pieces. Let's do it slower. One, two, three, four. Up, down, up, down, down. Two, three, four. Up, down, up, down, down. Two, three, one more. Up, down, up, down, down. Uh, you're thinking, well, great, I've played that, but it doesn't sound like the song. That's because we have to do this little slide. We're gonna go. So we're gonna strum up, down, up, down. Then you're gonna slide your hand two frets back. So now your pointer finger's on the ninth fret and your ring finger's on the 11th fret. Up, down, up, down, slide down. So that's up, down, up, down, slide, down. One, two, three, four. Up, down, up, down, slide. I can't, I can't talk and play. I'll do it. Okay, let's. One, two, three, four. Up, down, up, down, slide down. Two, three, do it again. Up, down, up, down, slide down. Two, three, one more time. Up, down, up, down. Uh. Once you get down to this fill thing, it's another octave, but now it's just on a different note. 
you're gonna play that one twice, so. See that right there? Up, down, up, down, slide down, down. Go back up to the first one. Up, down, up, down, and then slide all the way down to seven and nine. So exact same strumming, exact same rhythm. Up, down, up, down, slide all the way down to seven. Play that one twice. Behold the majesty of me playing the intro to High and Dry by Radiohead. Did I say the name of the song yet? Welcome. My name's Stuart. Welcome to the channel is Marine Music Center for some reason. My name is Stuart and there, here we go. One, two, three, four. Up, down, up, down. Uh, uh. Three, four. Up, down, up, down. Uh, uh. See? I, so the first time I slid to nine, next time I slid to seven. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three. Four, up, down, up, down, slide down, down. Three, back to the first, up, down, up, down, slide down, down. Three, four, and then we're gonna stay here. We're gonna strum up, down, up, and then hit, get your pointer finger out of the way of the top string. It's gonna keep pushing on the seventh fret of the A string, but you want to unmute the E string and play that low E string. We. That's why I say, the E string sounds good with the whole intro, but to get the really good payoff, you gotta save for this moment. So check it out. Up, down, up, down, down, down. Three, four, up, down, up, down, down, down. Three, four, up, down, up, top string. Down. Once you get that top string, we're gonna go down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. Do that, just that together a couple times. It's down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. This right here, my my hand is just going like this the entire time. Whether I'm strumming or not, I'm just going like this. Man, that ring light is really irritating. I hate it to death. I probably should just, what does it look like if I turn it off? We're just gonna turn it off. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. Should I just, should we just go with that? Oh, goodness gracious. Maybe I'll just tilt this a little bit. I think this is good for me to, uh, that's pretty shadowy. I don't know. We're gonna try it. <sighs> We're just gonna leave it on for now. I need to experiment with this, you guys. High and Dry by Radiohead. One, two, the whole intro, here we go. That was the worst count off in the world. One, two, three, four. Up, down, up, down, slide. Hey, three, four. Up, down, up, down, down, down. Three, four, up, down, up, oh. Do it again, and then I did something stupid because I'm panicking. thinking about the lights, thinking about you, thinking about how great you look today. Can't even see you. I don't know why I complimented you. It just if I say a random compliment when I when you know it can't, you know that I don't. You knew I didn't mean it. That's the thing. As then everything I say just loses all value. Today is not the day for me to ma be making these videos. I, like. Let's learn the verse to the song. How's it, how does it, I need to remember how it goes. I think that's it. Three chords, four, three and a half chords and one strumming pattern. Let's learn the first, first chord, then we'll learn the strumming pattern. We have this F sharp minor but it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a, a, an F sharp minor, but it's not a bar chord, so it's nice. Put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, like that. That's the second string from the bottom. Put your pinky on the fourth fret of the D string. That's the third string from the bottom. Then put your pointer finger on the second fret of the G string. That's the third string from the bottom. I would then like you, if at all possible, to have your thumb reach up and just 
mute the top string. We just want to mute the top string. We also want the bottom two strings to stay open, just like in the intro. That's kind of the thing with this song, is those bottom two strings staying open. This is our F sharp minor, like 11 chord, is probably what it's called. Are strumming or it's pretty close right like they don't do the exact same strumming the entire time but it's all based around this basic rhythm i would like you to play down 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 up down down up down up. that was down 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 up down down up down up was that the same as the intro when we got to the i think it might be rhythm slowly a few times. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, boom, boom, ba, 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 just, just tap it along with me for a second. One, Two, three, four. Boom, 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 ba, 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 Then play it. Boom, boom, ba, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up. Yeah, we're spending a lot of time practicing this rhythm. It's probably the most important part of the song. Things were looking up when I started this video. I was like, well, it's gonna be better than the last tutorial I tried to make, so I think we're good. But now I am questioning whether I even know how to play guitar. Um, I was gonna say and speak to a human being, but I'm not even speaking to a human being. I'm speaking to a camera. It's not even like a camera camera. It's my phone. But then it's full circle because you can talk to a human being on a phone. That's what phones were originally designed for. Not sure if you knew that. All right, so we've got our F sharp minor 11 stupid chord. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up. Then we are going to go to this beautiful chord. It's like an A sus 2 chord. You just got the middle two uh, strings, the D string and the G string, on the second fret each. I use my middle two fingers, middle two strings, second fret. I try to keep the top string muted, but not a big deal. We're gonna do the same strumming. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. Uh, when we switch from this chord to this one, you see what I did there? On that last strum where I'm going up, down, up, on that last strum up, I lift all my fingers off completely as I'm getting ready for the next chord. So I'm going up, down, get ready, down. So I literally strum the open strings as I'm switching chords. Let's practice going from the first chord to the second chord. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, and oh, see that? Do it slower. One, two, three, four. Down, down, Up, down, switch, oh! Then we go to an E, plain old regular E chord. Middle finger, second fret on the top string. Ring finger, second fret on the... It's not, did I say, did I say everything wrong again? Then I do my stretch, that's what I do. I mess up, I say something wrong, and then I just do the stretch. And then I think, okay, this stretch feels good. Maybe life isn't that bad. Guys. I don't know about this. I don't know about this whole thing. Christmas is in a few days in my timeline, but you might be in an alternate timeline where Christmas has already happened, or maybe Christmas is in one day. E chord. Top string is open. Middle finger, second fret on the next string. Ring finger, second fret on the next string. Pointer finger, first fret on the G string, the third string from the bottom. Bottom two strings are open. Remember I told you the bottom two strings are gonna be open for like almost the whole song. Down, down. Chord, head, da, 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 E chord. Same strumming pattern on the E. We do the E once through, 
Then we do the E a second time through with the same, same, same strumming pattern, but we're gonna start a little bit differently. Your pinky is gonna smash down on the second fret of the G string, the third string from the bottom. See, that's the same string that your pointer finger's on. It's just gonna momentarily take over that string, and we're gonna go up, down, up, down. Wait, I, what did we do? Figured it out. Look, 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 look. Here's what we do on the E. Starting from the first E, we go down, 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 down. So on my up, down, up, at the very end of the first E, that's when I put down my pinky. And I have a regular E after that. I think that's what happens. I'm not quite sure if that's actually what happens, but it sounds good. Look. chord again. Watch, I'm gonna do it again. That makes sense. I think I'm the best. I think everything I've said makes perfect sense and and uh, and you're all totally following along and you're all still watching the video. That's there's too much shadow. Too much shadow. I gotta adjust this thing, I got all this new stuff. I don't know how to use it. How's that? That didn't change anything at all. So that's the verse. The verse just does that. Then we get to the chorus. For the chorus, you can play the exact same thing as the verse. Or what I like to do, because that's this is where the electric guitar comes in, just to, to make the chorus sound a little bit different. Same three chords, but my strumming, I just go down, 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 down. Just a bunch of downs. I go. My voice sounds exactly like Tom York's. Tom York's. All right, at the end of the chorus, because we go, we play that whole thing with our down, 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 down. Then when we finish up the chorus, let's see, don't leave me high. I know what it is. So after we play the chords all the way through once for the chorus, the second time through, or maybe it's the fourth time through, I don't know. You're just gonna end on the second chord, that A sus two, you do one big strum of that. And then I think we go, as we do one of that, two, three, four, then back to E. And then we go back to the intro. So the timing for that is as we're playing the E chord, one. We have to get ready right after the fourth beat of that E. One, two, three, four. You have to be ready to come in for the intro again. I'm just kind of giving you approximates and that is ineffective. We've learned the intro. We've learned the verse. We've learned the chorus. And then we've learned that you go back into the intro. And now I'm telling you that we go back into the verse and back into the chorus. So the only thing left is we have to learn the solo. It's fun to play, look. It's all gonna be on the bottom two strings. What I do is I just play the bottom two strings together constantly like this. We're gonna be on the fifth fret of the B string, the second string from the bottom, and make sure the bottom string is completely open. So if you play those together, it sounds like this. They sound like the same note because they are the same note. We have an E right here on the fifth fret of the B string, and we have an E right here on the open E string. We play those two notes together, those times, Spanish for two, surprised you didn't know that. Then, I like to just slide my fingers back. You could switch fingers, but when I switch, I have a tendency to start muting the bottom string. So I just, I use 
two fingers here. I don't know why I use two. It just, I guess it keeps things more stable when I'm sliding around. And I just make sure, see how I'm making sure that I'm not hitting the E string. It takes some practice. Play it twice. Then you slide back to the fourth fret and you play the two strings. It's very dissonant, but it'll sound good. Don't worry. And then you go, you just play that once. Then you go right back to the fifth fret. So. Then, so let's see. One, two, three, four. I'm going five, five, four, five, five, four, five. Three, four. Five, five, four, five, five, four, five. Then I go five, four, five, seven, five, four. So that was five, four, five, seven. Seven, five, four. I'm yelling when I say seven. The whole time I'm playing both the bottom two strings with the bottom string open. From the beginning of the solo, we have five, five, four, five, five, four, five, five, four, five, seven, five, four. Do it with me. One, two, buckle my shoe. Five, five, four, five, five, four, five, five, four, five, seven, five, four. And we're gonna go like this. Five, five, four, five. I know what to do. We go five, five, four, five, two, two, zero. Five, five, four, five, two, two, zero. Then we're gonna go zero, 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 two, four, four. Zero, 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 two, four, four. And then I think we start over. That's confusing. Let's do the whole thing and I'm gonna yell numbers at you the entire time. One, two, three, four, five, five. Oh, that was six and it sounded disgusting. One, two, 16% battery left. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, five, five, four, five, five, four, five, seven, five, four, five, five, four, five. Five, two, zero, 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 two, two, four. Everything's gone! Let's do the whole solo one more time, and then we're done. One, two, three, four. Five, five, four, five, five, four, five, five, four, five, seven, five, four, five, five, four, five, five, two, zero, 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 two, four, four, five, five, four, five, five, four, five. Five, four, five, seven, five, four, five, five, four, five, two, zero, zero. Okay, two, zero, zero at the end, end of the solo. So that's Radiohead, my name's Stuart. This was a great video. I thought it was fantastic.